My name is Melisa and I am your ESL teacher for today. Today we are using the Oxford Picture Dictionary 2nd edition and we are on page 70. Page 70. So what does it say on the top left corner of page 70? Okay, so the top left corner of page 70 is meat and poultry. Meat and poultry. So what is meat and what is poultry? Meat is from animals like pigs and cows and lambs and um, pig, cow, lamb, that's meat. Now poultry is from chicken, turkey, it's from birds. Okay, so poultry is birds and meat is animals. Okay, so the top part is meat. Meat. So beef. Beef. Beef is from the cow. Okay? The cow. So, number one is roast. Roast. And number two is steak. Steak. Number three is stewing beef. Stewing beef. Stewing beef means that you put it in a soup. Okay? So if you put beef in a soup, you call it a stew. Alright? So that's why they say stewing beef. Beef stew is beef soup, right? Okay, and then four is ground beef. Ground beef. People usually use ground beef in hamburgers. They make hamburgers with ground beef or they might mix it with their noodles or rice. Americans do that. Okay, number five is beef ribs. Beef ribs. Okay, my brother really likes beef ribs. Number six is veal cutlets. Veal cutlets. Veal is baby cows, okay? So veal means a baby cow. So it's, uh, you know, I don't eat meat, so I don't eat any of this stuff. But anyway, veal is a baby cow. Number seven is liver. Liver. So um, in the beef, you, the cow has a liver, so this is the liver. And number eight is tripe. Tripe. Tripe is the intestines. Uh, the cow's intestines is tripe. Uh, most Americans eat steak and stew and ground beef and ribs and I don't most Americans don't eat liver or tripe or veal um, I don't know about roast I've never really seen people make a roast um, so popular is steak is very popular pork is from pigs okay so beef is from cows pork is from pigs pigs you know pig. Oink, 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 pig. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> so number nine is ham. Ham. Americans like to make ham sandwiches. So Americans like to have bread and put ham inside. Ham, lettuce, tomatoes, make a ham sandwich. That's very popular in America, ham. Number ten is pork chops. Pork chops. I used to really love pork chops, but I don't eat them anymore. <laughs> number eleven is bacon bacon. Bacon tastes very good. I like bacon, but I don't eat bacon anymore either. And number 12 is sausage. Sausage. Sausage is also very good. So in general, I think I like pig meat. <laughs> okay, Num the next one is lamb. Lamb. So lamb is one goes bah, the animal bah, that's the lamb, right? The cow is moo, the pig is oink oink, and the lamb is bah. That's the sound of a lamb. Okay, so number 13 is lamb shanks, lamb shanks. Number 14 is a leg of lamb, leg of lamb. And number 15 is lamb chops, lamb chops. Okay, all right, so that's lamb. I don't eat meat, but you know, this is the types of meat that they have at the grocery store. Poultry, the next section is poultry. Poultry are different kinds of birds, okay? So we have chicken, number 16, chicken. Number 17 is turkey. Okay, so chicken is smaller and turkey is bigger. All right, so chicken, turkey, and number 18 we have duck, duck. Okay, so Americans will eat chicken and turkey and duck. All right, the most popular being chicken. Okay, number 19 is breasts, breasts. Number 20 is wings, wings. 21 are legs legs, 
22 are thighs, thighs, 23 are drumsticks, drumsticks. Okay, so there's three kinds of poultry, there's three kinds of birds, there's chicken and turkey and duck. And then the different types of, way, different parts of the bird are underneath. Okay, all right, now number 24 is raw chicken, raw chicken. Okay, so you, you just bought it, no cooking yet, it's raw means not cooked, raw. Number 25 is cooked chicken. Cooked chicken. So they already put it in the oven and now it's cooked and you can eat it. Okay, raw chicken, you can't eat raw chicken. But you can eat cooked chicken. Alright, so practice your words. If you eat meat and you eat poultry, then you should practice and know your English. And I wish you luck. Good luck with your English. Thank you for coming to class today.